before we get started with our architraves, I'll just explain to you what an architrave actually is. Essentially it's a decorative moulding and it's used to cover the gap between the lining board and the door jamb or the lining board and the window frame. Now when it comes to joining, you've got two options really. You can use a mitre and you cut a 45 degree angle on the end of each piece. It just fits up the top like that. Now we'll use this example for our window a bit later on. The other example, and the one we'll use for the door, is to use an architrave block. Now you simply cut a butt joint at the top of the architrave. The architrave fits on there, the block fits at the top, and then your headpiece runs across the top, another block, and then the other architrave down the other side of the door. Now when it comes time to measuring the quantities of material you'll need for your doorway, it really depends on the method you're going to use for joining. If you're going to have a mitre in the top corner, you need to measure from the floor to the inside of the jam, but you'll need to add the width of your material to allow for the top piece. In our case, we're using our architrave block, so all I need to do is measure from the floor to the inside of the jam here and add three millimetres, because I don't want my architrave to finish flush with the inside of the jam. I just want that little distance set back. Now that distance is called a quirk. Now you could use three millimetres, you could use four, you could even use five. The distance is not important, but what is important, if you choose to use four, make sure it's four millimetres all the way around. To install your architraves, you've got another two choices. You can use a trusty old hammer and nail, or you can use a nailer. But the most important thing is, whichever method you decide, is to line up your architrave with your quirk line. Now I've chose to use three millimetres and I've marked a pencil line around my jam. The way to start is just line up at the top, make sure it's aligned, and then just fire the first nail. So I've got the first architrave on. The next thing is to put the block up the top, just to make sure it's flush on the inside. You can fire that off, then put the headpiece on, then the other block and finish off with the last architrave. So that's the doorway done. Just a couple of tips. If you're going to do the sanding and priming, it makes it a lot easier to do it before you install it. So let's do the window. Now for the window frame, we're going to use a mitre joint. But the first thing you need to do is just mark out your quirk. Now remember the quirk was the distance from the inside of the reveal to the front edge of the architrave. Now the tip is here to use a combination square. Now I've chosen to use three millimetres, so I've set my square to three mil. I simply put that on the inside of my reveal and just mark with a pencil all the way around the frame and that gives you a nice consistent distance all the way round. Now when it comes time to measuring your material and cutting to length, it takes a bit of maths, so I'll take it nice and slow. What you need to do is measure the inside of your reveal, add the distance of the quirk plus one width of your material for each side. In other words, it's the inside opening of the reveal plus two times the quirk plus two times the width of your material and that'll give you the full length of your piece. Now I've got all my four pieces cut to size and I've already pre-sanded them because sanding them before you install them makes it a lot easier. Now when you install it, start with the bottom and the important thing here is to line up your architrave with your quirk line. Just make sure it's lined up on the top here and on each end. Just put one nail here into the reveal and another one at this end. We can add some more nails in later after we make sure our mitres line up. In the corner, just want to apply a little bit of wood glue to the, to the mitre here. Now don't overdo it with the glue because more glue doesn't make it stronger. It just makes more mess for you to clean up. So don't overdo it here, just a little bead. It just holds the mitre together. Now another tip here, I just put that bottom nail in, I'll leave the top one loose for now, just gives me a little bit of play with my mitre, just in case it's slightly out of square.
Just one more tip. When you put your nail, just pay a little bit of attention where you pick the spot for the nail because you need to feel that. So you don't want to try and get it into this tight corner here, for example, because it's just going to make it harder to feel and a bit harder to sand later. Now sometimes you'll find that these two surfaces aren't flush. The best way to fix that is you can just come in from the other side, just fire a nail or hammer a nail in through the end. And then it's nice and flush. Well that's the architraves done. They look good, don't they? Now chances are you've got some existing ones you need to remove first. So what you want to do is take a little bit of care. Don't just hook in and get a pinch bar behind the architrave and lever off. All you'll do there is just put a hole straight through your plasterboard. If you're going to use a pinch bar, put a scrap piece of timber behind it and lever off that. The other method is to just get a sharp chisel and start from the inside here. And just be careful when you lever it, you don't want to damage your reveal because you'll see that later. So that's that. Good luck with it and I'll see you around.